Oh boy. Um, a tank initially contains 120 liters of pure water, a mixture containing a concentration of gamma gallons per liter of salt, enters the tank at a rate of 2 liters per minute, and the well stirred mixture leaves the same tank or it leaves the tank at the same rate, find the expression in term of gamma for the amount of salt in the tank at any time t, and then also think about what's going to happen to the salt in that tank over time. Boom. So what did we do? We set up our change in salt. Our change in salt was the rate in minus the rate out. Now we got to go and we got to get those rates. So the rate in is 2 times gamma. Why? Because it's coming in at 2 liters per minute and it's at concentration of gamma. Gamma is just some constant. Gamma is the concentration of the salt coming in. in. Then the rate out. Well, what is it? The amount of salt divided by 120, that's the concentration in the tank at any time and then it flows out at a rate of 2. So we're going to clean up our dq dt. And when we do, we get q over 60. So what are we going to do that? We need to solve that guy. We need to find a q at any time. So we come to the clean page, and our dq dt is from what was on the other page. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to solve that differential equation. It's the differential equation a linear type, it's not separable, but we need to make it separable. In order to make it separable, we need to multiply through by an integrating factor. So we, find, we mind our p's and q's. Our p is the thing in front of the q, our p is the thing in front of cap q, and our q is the thing that it's equal to, that constant in this case. So our mu, our integrating factor, is e to the minus 60 dt, so we integrate that spits out a constant, but we're not going to worry about that because it matters nothing in our differential equation. So we multiply everything through by our mu. And that's when we kind of run out of room. Then what? You undot that left-hand side. It's, pu it's q mu every time. And now we integrate each side. Let me separate that. So integrating each side, we see that the left side has that integrand using that fundamental theorem of calculus. And that right side quite messy. What does that say? That says 2 times gamma e to the t over 60 times 60, because we're integrating that, plus rc. Let me move this to another page so it looks cleaner. Go, go, gadget equation. That was t e to the t over q times, whoa, that's e to the t over 60 q equals 2, I rewrote that other side with the 2 times the 60 being 120. Now what? We need to solve for q dividing everything by e to the t over 60, and that's happening here. Looks like I'm going to get some reductions. I'm going to get some reductions. The e's to the t's goes. And we rewrite that with a negative exponent. And what did you just find? You found a qt. Yeah. Let's see what the concentration of this salt is going to do over time. In order to do that, you got to take the limit. Wait, what? This is the first question. Boom, boom, box and flower. Yeah. Don't be so salty. Over the long term, how salty is this tank going to be? You can run the limit. And when you run the limit as t goes to infinity, where does that go? It goes to 120 gamma. All right. As t goes to infinity, where does that go? That goes to zero. So, you could say that this goes to zero, boom. Over time, what's the concentration? Yeah, they're calling it QL.
the limit. It's going to be 120 gamma. Bye.